Ahrefs internal linking opportunities, their tool, and how you could get it for free. So let's get to it. If you go to Ahrefs.com, you could sign up for their Ahrefs Webmaster Tools, which is free. Or because if you have them already, you could go um, pretty much you have the access. So once you create an account and you could create a project, you can only create one, I believe. No, we could create more. Um, and then you could import from GSC or enter it manually. I just did it with Google, uh, Google Search Console to make sure that I'm the one who have this actual access. So if you don't have an uh, access to the, to the website, uh, you have to go through the whole manual process, which I'm not gonna get into. Um, and once you crawl the site, do the whole site audit, um, you're going to go to internal link opportunities. So the crawling could take anywhere from a couple minutes to a couple hours, depending on how many pages you have and then how long it takes for them to crawl. So this is pretty much it. Uh, in comparison to any other tool, there is, I mean, if you are in the WordPress space, there are a lot of internal linking tools. Um, but as far as an SEO tool, go tool goals, there isn't really something that you could do for internal linking or find internal linking opportunities like Ahrefs. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You got the PR, page rank, source page, um, and then um, the target page with the keyword. So the, key, the keyword context here is from this article, external link best practices. They retrieve this keyword anchor text right here. And this is the, the target, the link that you want to use um, internal link. So you just go to that. So here is the anchor text, which I'm not going to uh, do internal linking for this one because this is just a code example. But as you can see, you could get some here. What they do is automatically they retrieve the top 10 keywords that you're ranking for and then give you that opportunity to do some internal linking f uh, based on their crawl uh, uh, site audit. So they uh, did the whole site audit, they crawled your whole pages. If it's not indexed, I'm sure it's not going to show up. But here, like Google Search Console is, um, is being shown on this URL right here. And then you want to link that here or maybe not. So uh, these are just simple opportunities. And you have um, the keyword volume and the keyword difficulty. So you, it does kind of of a quick uh, internal linking opportunities versus a whole linking opportunities that you will constantly do all the time. This is just your top, top, top 10 keywords and then giving you that opportunity to uh, add those internal link, internal link to keep that 10 keywords um, ranking better through internal linking. Uh, the other thing that you could do is um, to go through some advanced filter. Uh, doesn't work that well, because we type in internal link, which should be something that show up all the time, but it's not. So let me do another one, uh, anchor text. Here, yeah, so, uh, uh, well, it's the, the same thing. So let me try on it. So the top 10 keywords. I, I need to avoid that, right? So let me think about keyword here inbound link. 
Nope, it doesn't. So basically, just the top ten. Um, I, I guess they're kind of they're working on expanding uh, more of the keyword, or if you pay, maybe you could kind of see more. But it's the only good thing about this tool. Let me go back to the whole thing is f giving you the top ten keywords. Um, and some data, which I mean, you really don't need search volume or keyword difficulty because you wrote an article on that. So, and you're ranking well. So, if you're ranking kind of well on that, then I mean, doesn't really matter. But these are just a quick win. It's better to just use, um, if you have WordPress, you could just do internal link and then you could find all the articles that mentioned the word internal link. You could see here, internal link. Um, so in comparison to just using WordPress, there's not much opportunity unless you kind of uh, like, this does give you a little bit more context of where that link is. So you don't have to like go through the whole articles and then type in, so for example, this article, which has quite a bit, I could decide on where I want, want it. This one, I don't know how they kind of give you just, maybe they give you a, a bit more. So let's anchor text here. No. Target page. No, they only give you that one opportunity. No, this one gives you two opportunities. One. Two, two, two. Yeah, so they give you good, um, most likely two. I, I don't see any three because uh, I can't give you a good example because internal link. It's not showing up. But here you can see there's quite a bit of internal link keyword in this article. Um, but if you look at their suggestion, they only give you two. So um, is it worth it? I mean, if you have the free tool webmaster, where is it? the webmaster tools for free, then it doesn't hurt to try. If you have this, uh, if, you're pay if you're paying for it, it's something that you might want to focus on the top 10 keywords. So that's kind of good. But if you don't know your top 10 keywords, then I would suggest you do <laughs> uh, and not have href tell you um, and you should be writing articles based on that so that you can rank higher. But I just wanted to kind of give you a, a review on their internal linking opportunities, which is, I mean, it's, it's there to for free. Uh, and you could do other things here like site audit and then just kind of see internal pages. Um, do a lot more than anything, but it's not a real internal linking tool like um, ours, for example, Linkilo, which kind of gives you a bit more context of the amount of uh, links or link cannibalization, orphan pages, pages without internal links, pages with external links. I'm sure some of the, the that data ha um, is shown on href, but uh, like the amount of time that you use anchor anchors or um, 
combining Google Search Console keyword data to find more links, or yeah, there's a lot more. This having a dedicated tool for internal linking purposes only, compared to using Ahrefs internal linking tool, you you could kind of see the comparison. But yeah, it's something that you could just use if you have Ahrefs. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I just wanted to do a quick review on this, on how to do internal linking with Ahrefs. So um, yeah, till next time.